So if you want to make a mod, load the game and go to Manage User Folder, and then open in Explorer, and it'll take you to your User Folder. Now if you're going to make a mod, I know this sounds crazy, but don't even think about the Mods folder. Just get that out of your head. You're going to be focusing on the Vehicles folder. And I can show you by loading the game, and then maybe explain it in this way, it'll make more sense. So yeah, get the repository out of your head, get the mod manager out of your head, you're not, you're not worrying about any of that. Just load free roam and pick small grid. Now, hit escape and go to vehicles. Now, since you're going to be making a mod, I mean, it doesn't have to be a vehicle, it could be, a, you know, anything. But since this is where you're loading these from, then you go, anything you make a new mod, you're going to put it in the vehicles folder, because that's what you're working on, a vehicle. I mean, it ain't got to be a vehicle, but you get the idea. So we'll call this new mod. A. Now, right now, A um, is not going to show up because there's no info file. The info file is what tells the game what the mod is. I recycle everything. I don't have any of this stuff memorized. I couldn't even tell you off the top of my head the first thing that goes on one of these. I just no point in memorizing it um, so this will be the name of the mod we'll just call it A now if you want to edit a text document and name it info.json you can do that and type this stuff I don't know why you doing that so now that we saved the info file we can go back into here and uh, Give it a second to refresh, and now you see we got our mod. Now, if you want a preview picture to look at, then you can put any picture in there. I just want to make sure that you crop it so that the resolution is something like um, 1200 by 600 or 600 by 300. Uh, you know, well, if that ain't an ugly color green right there, that's swimming pool green. That color swimming pools get when they ain't been taken care of in about 10 years. Uh, this will be our little preview picture. Let's just be the letter A. So. We export it as in that folder for A. We'll call this default.jpg. You can do PNG or JPEG, it's up to you. That is going to give this its preview picture. Now, what makes up the actual mod is a few things. Um, it's going to be an object, a 3D object, and then it's going to be the J-beam, which is like the skeleton for the thing. It basically is what has the physics. Now, just like the info file, the J-beam file, I recycle them too. I'll reuse this one on the desktop every time. It's got enough stuff filled out on it that all I need is just a few things added to make it complete. So as I see in all my videos, take this J-Beam and use it, just like I do. Recycle it. Save it on your desktop or use it many times. Now if you want to name the J-Beam, you can name it. Doesn't matter. 
if you want to call it, whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, up here, you can put the name of it. Put your name here. Now, let's scroll down to Flex Bodies. Now, this is going to be your 3D mesh, whatever that's going to be. And you go into Blender, make you an object. That's going to be that. I had made a box, so let's make a ball. Let's make a ball this time. Let's make a mesh. Uh, yeah, we'll make a mesh sphere. But we're gonna we're gonna use that many polygons. Yeah, I guess we will. That'd be fine. So sphere is the name of this object. That object goes here. Then you decide a group name. What do you, it's up to you what you name your group. We're just going to name it... How about S? Group S. Then we scroll down to here. And put in the name of Group S. Now we just need the nodes. The beams. And the triangles. Which I use the Blender Exporter to do that. The uh, J-Beam Exporter. So, flipping back to Blender, we need to put a texture on our ball. It doesn't have a material or anything on it. Um, I'm going to name the texture a ball. Uh, and then, I'm going to... If you move the object, like say we're going to move this object up to here, just remember anytime you move, scale, rotate, anything, once you're done, go up to the object here and say apply all transform so the origin will be set back to where it's supposed to be set to. Now export the DAE into that folder. In the A folder and you can name the DAE whatever you want you know it doesn't it doesn't matter what you name this now it doesn't actually have a material wrapped on it it's just a solid color but that's fine now we have a DAE in here that's their model now we just have to get the skeleton that's going to represent it in the physics. You know, what are we going to use? Well, we could just make a damn box. It, it ain't got to be a ball. It could be a cube, for example. Now it's not going to behave like a ball. It's going to behave like a cube, but just, just to make a point. Now once we get the thing settled, we say, okay, this is going to represent that. Fine, just... Apply all transforms, and then go over to these little green, this little data, the data properties for that object. And if you have the JBeam exporter installed, you can give a prefix to the node. Now we don't necessarily need a prefix for this, since this is the only thing we're making. But if you're making multiple things, then each one needs to have their own little prefix. So I'll just give this a prefix of S. How about that? Now, you may want to just get in the habit of remembering just to go into edit mode and triangulating all your faces. And then save the Blender file in the vehicle folder for that mod. So in the A folder, we've got to save the Blender file. Because it will not export a JBeam until you've at least saved the Blender file. So now you can export the JBeam cube. It doesn't matter what this thing is named. You can rename this to JBeam for the spear if you want to. It doesn't matter. Uh, just as long as you know you're using it as the JBeam is all that matters. Oh, and if you happen to make this before you export the sphere be sure that when you export the sphere by itself that you tell it selection only 
because you're not using the cube as a model also you're just using it for its j-beam so you're only using selection only in that case now let's export that j-beam and if you look at the bottom of the screen you'll see it successfully exported one j-beam if you get a red error that says you must first save your blender file then <laughs> save your blender file if you get one that says this object contains n-gons then you forgot to go into edit mode and you forgot to hit A to select all and face triangulate faces you forgot to do that I mean it's possible you made something without n-gons and you don't have that error but most of you probably will just get in the habit of doing it now you'll see in the A folder a new folder called JBeam exported if you open this you'll see that cube if you open this you'll see the cube exported nodes beams and triangles the three things we needed to complete our mod now well it would be nice if the jbeam exporter could export everything it does not it just exports the bare minimum things it doesn't have AI, it doesn't read your mind, it doesn't know exactly what you're making, so it just exports nodes, beams, triangles. So, taking the nodes, copying them to our clipboard, we can go back to A, and in the node section, under where we named our group S here, we can paste those nodes. We can go back to cube, get the beams, and then we can paste them in the beam section here then the triangles copy them back to here paste them here now this is too much spring and but damping for the amount of weight it's got but I could just fix that by just increasing the weight and that should be fine uh, not even really conf confusing with all this other stuff. Just trying to stick to the bare minimum things. Now the game's already running. I don't think it's going to load it now. And if it does, the texture will probably be messed up. Yeah, so we need to read Oh, look at that. I was wrong. It did load it. I've been wrong twice today. Now somebody asked in another video, they said, uh, they said, well, you confused me about the material file. You never made, you never explained that. Well, the first thing, when you first make a mod, if you open a DAE and look at a DAE, it's got in here the texture stuff, right? It tells the game what material is, what the UV coordinates, texture coordinates. I mean, it does tell it, you know, the basics. So the game looks at this DAE, and then it writes a main dot materials based on the information from the DAE, which is just in its most basic form. It's just telling it just whatever that color was from Blender. Now, if it had a texture map on it, that would include the, the uh, location for the map. And it would uh, have the texture wrapped around the ball. But like I said, keeping this simple, you can hit Control T to see the actual J beam that's facing our ball here. It might give us an idea. A little bit about how this works. So as you can see, the only folder we used at all is in the user folder in vehicles, a folder called A, and it contains everything we need in there. Now if you want to pack this thing as a zip file to go in the mod folder, well you can do that. 
Just make your folder on your desktop. Inside of this folder, make a new folder called Vehicles. Copy the contents of A into the Vehicles folder. Or better yet, move them in there because you can't have the thing in two places. Move it in there. Now, technically it shouldn't even be in the game now, but I mean the game's already running, so I don't think it's going to just disappear, but it may. Now, we'll just have to reload. Zip this folder. I don't know, let me open it, show you how it's arranged. I'll zip it, name it, put that zip in the mod folder, just in here, not unpacked, not in repo, just right here. Now if you left it in the other place too, then you're going to probably run into problems. But you can see it's here now it's not in the other place we load the game it'll load just like it did before but there's no point in having it zipped up if you're working on it and what's the point it's like trying to build something inside of a box that's closed why would you do it it's not opened up There's our box. Now, I didn't get into all the details. I didn't go into reference nodes. I didn't go into the beam springs, strings, all that. This is just the basic, basic, basic. The very basic. Uh, I would call this video modding for dummies that are real dummies, and I'd put my picture on it. That would be <laughs> the ideal name for this video. Because uh, really, there was nobody to explain it in simple terms when I tried to learn the stuff. It was a uh, pretty steep linear, li pretty steep learning curve, I'd say. There was one video on the internet that was a box, how to make a box, and it didn't teach me how to make a box. It wasn't until later on that I got more into modding that I found this channel. And what he said started to make more sense to me. M-O-R-Z-B-N-G. What he was saying and what I knew at the time, it kind of helped me fill in the blanks. Now he's got he's got his he's got his own ways of doing things. Uh, he prefers to type the stuff out. Um, but I guess just everybody does things a little different. Uh, you can go through his videos and you can find many of my comments probably or I've asked questions myself but yeah this is uh, would be the next step for you if you um, if you got this down and you want to learn more then I will check with him uh, and that's pretty much it for this this is I'll try to keep this simple uh, and not overcomplicate anything.